Uh, hey everyone, I'm just uh, I'm trying to do a couple of these updates, but my phone hasn't been cooperating very well. Um, unlike people who, who other people who are shooting videos in the car, I am um, actually not. This is actually on, a, on its own stand, so it's perfectly safe. Um, I kind of want to cover some stuff that's been going on lately, and then that way I can share it with all of you. Uh, my friend Gary Livingston had said that he missed um, my doing my videos every day. Though I used to walk around the uh, apartment complex and uh, and just talk about what's going on in my life, what's going on in the business, offering some business tips and marketing tips, and uh, that kind of stuff. So. I guess one of the big events, uh, there's been a lot of big events going on lately. The, the one of, well, the first event that happened is that I decided to, um, since I'm working with a new coach, um, and Eric and I are working together to help me uh, put the infrastructure together for my business to get it to where I want it to go, and, um, and be able to accomplish what I want to accomplish. And the first thing that we did, what I did was in support of the, our, uh, the effort to uh, rebrand myself is I changed my company name from Heartlight Partners Global to Peak Profit Global. And then all the brands that I'm going to be launching and putting together in the next you know, over the, in the next 8 to 12 months and coming coming months and coming years will be all surrounding around this particular uh, uh, business. Uh, because in about the next uh, 12 to 18 months, I'm going to be standing up about 8 different companies. Um, and all in support of the branding effort that's going on. My method for doing this is basically you create the brand within the parent corporation and then you build the brand up around that you get the brand earning money and then you you spin that off into a separate because um, my my company peak profit global is a, a sub s corporation and then you spin that off into the, those brands and those products and services that are associated with that brand into its own separate um, LLC and those LLC companies I'm going to create are going to be formed in the state of Wyoming because the state of Wyoming protects the um, has, has privacy protections in place that um, in order to find out who owns the company, you have to get a court order. Um, so it's not like the state of Florida where you can just go to sunbiz.org and look up who the company owners are. Because um, you know, from that perspective, you know, people can look up the, my corporation name and see who the officers are, Lara and I, currently, and they can look those up. So the idea is, is to do a complete rebranding of all my business, all my, my, my um, rebranding of myself, and then as I'm launching new products and services, um, launching new franchises, and launching the, those kinds of things, that it'll be all surrounding that branding, and then I'll be taking, basically developing the brand and getting the income rolling in that particular brand around those products and services that are being developed, and then spin those off into separate companies and into their own uh, and, and, and in their infrastructure. So it's kind of a, that's that's the method I'm going to be using. Uh, to be able to build my business to where I want it to go. Um, the first franchise that's going to be uh, launched is going to be a, uh, a coaching and consulting, uh, a business coaching and consulting uh, franchise. And it'll be a turnkey franchise system that'll be uh, licensing and franchising out to people to help them create successful businesses. And uh, we'll be announcing more about that in the future. Um, and uh, waiting for some other stuff to come through as far as the uh, the actual name of that particular company because of that particular franchise and company um, because I'm waiting for the uh, well I'm actually I'll be filing the paperwork with the US Patent Office to get a trademark or service mark for all the brands and companies that I'm launching um, as far as that goes because I want to make sure that all this is legally protected on, uh, on a on national and international level eventually all, all those trademarks and patents will actually be um, applied for in different in, in, the, in the relative governing bodies uh, so that's the that's the company name change and that's about the branding uh, my overall direction that I'm building for my, my first part of the business I'm building is the coaching consulting company is to be able to provide a done-for-you marketing service for my clients to where I am the chief marketing officer for small to medium-sized businesses. And what this means to me, and I'm also an executive leadership coach, which means that my team, when you hire me and when you partner with me, I will be doing all the marketing and advertising for your business so that you can focus on what you're good at, working with your clients. 
because most people don't know how to sell, and, and if they do know how to sell, they don't do a very good job at it, and most people are not very good at marketing. So that's, that's the general concept, is I'll be a CMO, a chief marketing officer for your business, and that I'll also be an executive leadership coach to help you build out the, uh, the help you build, shift your mindset and help you develop your leadership skills so that you can become an effective leader and build your dream business. Um, I'm driving to Orlando to meet my friend Terry because um, she invited me up for the weekend and I, after what happened this past week as far as my uh, energy release. It was, it was a very interesting experience. Talked a little bit about it on Facebook. Um, but one of the things I'm doing now is I'm kind of, I've been cleaning house <laughs> and in cleaning house, I'm meaning that there's just a lot of old stuff that I've had hanging out that I needed to clean up. And uh, one of the things which I did, which was a big release for me, I didn't realize it was going to be at the time, uh, but I just kind of had um, owed up to a failure that I had. And I, and I really didn't really think it was a failure at the time, but I took responsibility for something that happened in the past with my first marriage. And after I took responsibility for that, I said, well, uh, I thought it was kind of cool that my, my, my first wife and I were, were friends, um, but I discovered that it was really kind of holding me back and that I really needed to, as the message was coming to me, because I'm very intuitive, and for about three days, I had this message coming in my head, let this person go, let this person go. And so I had called her and I said, well, hey, this is what's going on and blah, 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 blah. And this is what's going on. And I just said, well, I, I just want to let you know that I just, I don't know if I've ever said this to you, but it's not your fault that the marriage failed. You know, granted, it takes two to tango. But um, I, I think it's just important to me that I take responsibility for my part in the failure and that I was a, I was a majority, I was a major factor in, in the failure of our marriage and the reason it didn't work out. Now, I don't look at my life as a series of failures. I just look at it as my life as being a, a part of the journey. There's my dog in the back. You can see her. That's Micah. Because, um, you know, it's about the lessons that we learn along the way. And after I had said this to her, and then uh, I, I just said, well, I just don't think it's a very good idea that we, that we talk to each other anymore. I know I've been the one who's been calling you, but I just, this is to be the last time that you'll hear from me. And after I got on the phone, I just felt like this huge release. It was like the air was being sucked out of me, and and, and it was like, wow, this is just. I was I was wiped out, and uh, up until I got it. And one of my things I usually do when I'm in that situation is, you gotta re-energize. And one of the things I've loved to do since I've been, since I could drive is just jump in the car and just re-energize and just relax and, and, and put your thoughts together. Uh, so that's I'm, I'm, my friend Terry invited me up to Orlando. Uh, so we're, we're driving up there now. We're going to kind of hang out. And I'm going to help her get some of the, the internet revenue share stuff set up. And we're, we're going to be working on that together. This will be one of my first case studies. Um, service Plaza. That will be a good thing, don't you think? Yes. I haven't eaten yet. Um, so that's what's going on there. So we had the, the company name change, the business... Uh, the big release, which was good, because you know, like you have to let go of the past in order to welcome the new. Oh, this isn't a very good one, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Um, you have to let go of the past in order to welcome the new. So, my doing this with this with my my first wife. Names aren't important. People who know who she is, well, you know who she is. Big deal. Uh, but I don't need to broadcast that around the rest of the world, per se. Um, you have to be willing to let go of that past in order to, to make space for the new. And I just I, and I posted this on Facebook today, and I just want to be clear. Lara and I are freaking awesome. Lara and is not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. We are perfectly in love and in married, and, and things are just going really awesome there, so that... The new isn't getting rid of Lara by any means. It's to make new for all the wonderful things that are happening to us right now. Um, the funny part about the company name change is that after I had signed the paperwork in the state of Florida to change the name of the company, the graphic designer I haven't talked to in over a year contacts me on Skype and goes, do you have any work for me? 
So that's God telling me the spiritually that that was the right move to make. So Brandon is working on the the, 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 the logos now for the companies because um, I want to get all the company logos put together. Um, so as I'm rolling these companies out and doing what I want to do, that those logos are ready. You have to be able to let go of the past. One of the things I've, I've had to learn throughout my life and, the, and, and I guess the... The biggest things that, that, that were the biggest challenges in my life that I learned is learning to love myself, learning to value myself, and learning how to respect myself, and learning how to set healthy boundaries for myself, which means saying no when, to people that are meant to just set a healthy boundary for you. Um, that was a big challenge for me for a lot of times in my life, and there's a lot of hurt around that and a lot of growth that's happened as a result of me being able to do that now. Um, but I'm super, super happy about that. Um, actually, I can't do this because the dog's in the car. It's 88 degrees. I'll get pulled over by the cop, so I'll have to find a drive through along the way, which on the turn bike isn't a very good thing. So you got to be able to let, bring in the new. Um, company name change, logos. Uh, we're moving. Uh, Lara and I are moving to Jupiter, Florida. Uh, actually, Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Um, that's another spiritually supported event that's happening. Um, we're super excited about that. And we're moving on June 18th. And we're moving into a two-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath townhome. Um, it's a three-level a three -level townhome. And, we're, cause, and what's cool about that is that it's it's going to feel more like a house and this particular townhome is going to be about 10 to 15 minutes away from where we're going to build our new house because we're looking to build a new house in that area because um we love i love the area and we like and, and that's where the land is going to be available for us um we're looking to be able to build a uh, on a five acre piece of property and build our palace I was born and raised on a, a, on a three acre piece of property that was back ended by about 200 acres of woods. So that's just kind of what I've been used to growing up. And that's the kind of uh, thing that I want to be able to do to have for us when we're, our Russian family comes to join us to be able to live with us. We're going to be building about a 5,000 square foot house, roughly as far as the, 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 the overall size is going to be. So it'll be a four-bedroom house with the 1,200-square-foot guest house. The guest house will be uh, my office, and actually Lara and I's office. I'm going to allow her to have an, an office in my office. Um, that's, that's a kind of a joke. Um, um, so we're, we're excited about that. Um, my Masonic Lodge will be joining up there. It's really kind of cool because all of the main, all of the brothers in the lodge are all about my age and they're all very active so that'll be a, a lot of opportunities to, get to meet a lot of people um, I have been re, I have reapplied to and been accepted back into the Big Brother Big Sister program in Palm Beach County uh, so I'm going to be doing the community program where I'm going to be meeting with a, a young a young man um, and be able to do some activities to help um, help him and just kind of get me back in and in touch with children because the children are really the mission or what I call the end game of my business and actually one of the end games um, the first end game is just focusing on curriculum and focusing on programs to help uh, help children get better access to education and to teach young adults to be entrepreneurs and then the second mission for my business is going to be to be able to have a, a functional medicine I'm going to be partnering with some doctors to put together a functional medicine uh, franchise. So the concept behind that particular opportunity is going to be that um, my my business will take care of all of the marketing and all the advertising and all the uh, all the marketing and, and lead generation and stuff for those doctors. So that will allow the doctors to be able to focus on what they're good at, and that is working with patients. Um, that'll be a, an international franchise that will be available in, uh, in 
starting off in the United States, and then we'll bring it to other countries as the uh, as I understand the laws and the regulations necessary to spread that franchise across uh, to be an international franchise. Uh, the coaching and consulting franchise will be also be an international franchise as well. Um, and um, I'm going to be a busy guy. So that's kind of really what's been kind of going on here. Um, a little, a, a few minutes ago, I mentioned about an, uh, an internet revenue share. Um, how do I say this? I, I've discovered a way, which I'm, I'm currently testing, where somebody can work no more than 15, no more than, let's say, 20 minutes a day and earn $10,000 a month. And I'm not going to be publicly promoting this particular uh, opportunity to anyone for the next six months uh, because I want to prove that you can hit $40,000 a month in this in six months following my system. And I'm going to bring, be bringing probably about five to eight people through this particular system um, in order to be able to prove that it works and to be able to help close friends and, and, clo and, and family because those will be the people I'll be bringing into this. Um, I have some pretty big intentions for this and those really aren't relevant but the one that I'm, I'm going to do that I can, I'll talk about now is that I will get this to at least $100,000 a month by June of 2017. And it's going to be the one way that I'm going to use to buy my house. Um, this type of opportunity is not quit your job type opportunity. This is intended to be the way I'll be presenting it and, and, and training people to, about this. Is this is this is supplemental income that's meant to make improve your quality of life, but it's not meant to become part of your normal day to day budget. So you know a lot of people they'll do this kind of stuff. And when they'll, they'll quit their job, which on this, this particular internet revenue share stuff is stupid to do um, because of the volatility of it. And volatility means that it's high risk, but I'll be teaching people how to manage that risk. And I want to make sure that I'm risking my own money and my own time before I teach other people about this. But it'll be a small segment of people I'd be teaching this anyway because the, my idea behind doing this is to be able to self-fund my business. So um, sometime in the next... Well, in the next six months, I'm going to be developing the uh, the content for and the step-by-step -step process I'm following for a product that will be called the RevShare Academy. And my wife will actually be the one who is actually going to be teaching this because her niche in the business is going to be teaching people how to make money from home to build successful home-based businesses. And my niche is going to be focusing on small to medium-sized businesses um, and helping those uh, people build those businesses. Laura and I will be working together. I'll be kind of the brain supporting her, but she wants to have her own part of the business and she likes the idea of helping people create successful businesses that they can work from home. And that's what I'm gonna be teaching her to do, helping her do. So she'll be actually be the face of, and the brand of that part of our business. So she'll be the make money online diva or the make money at home at diva. We haven't got that brand down yet. Um, so the revenue potential on the internet revenue share is pretty phenomenal. A lot of you aren't going to believe the numbers if I told you, you know, if I say $100,000 a month and you don't, you know, and, and a lot of people aren't going to believe that's even possible and that's okay. Um, I know it's possible and I'm going to prove that it is. Um, and when I hit my actual goal of where I want to be in two years, it's going to blow your freaking mind. But it'll be a whole system I'm going to be teaching along the way of how, of how to be able to properly use the money you're generating to be able to, re to reinvest it back into brick and mortar type businesses to be able to create a stable lifestyle for you and your family so that you could quit your job. So the purpose of this is really to create the seed money necessary and the, and the cash flow necessary to be able to create a better life for you and your family. Having said that, enough said. Um, if you contact me about this and you haven't talked to me and you're not a close friend, don't, don't, don't waste your time. I'm just going to tell you no. Um, <coughs> what else is going on? I'm 
feeling much better on this drive. Maybe it's all the nature around me when I'm driving up the freaking turnpike up to Orlando. Driving's always been good for me. What other events are going on? That's all I really can think about right now. Um, this is kind of my update video. And uh, if you know of any business owners that are looking to really change the results they're getting in their business, um, I'd be happy to, to talk to them. Um, like I said, my approach is going to be a little bit different than most business coaches. Because I just discovered with, with if, if I'm just a business coach, it's not enough. I have to be like Marcus Lamonis and The Prophet. I have to be that guy that's 100% in control of your marketing and advertising so that you get the results that you want. And that you can focus on you owning your business instead of your business owning you. Did I talk about that? Oh, in case I didn't talk about this and I'm repeating myself, I apologize. I'm writing a new book. Um, the new book, kind of Table of Contents, is done. The tentative title is The 7-Step Essential Guide for Effective Marketing for Small Business. The title is going to change a little bit because we have, we're going to make it an Amazon bestseller. And if you understand that Amazon is a, is a search engine and that you want the title of your book to be having keywords in it that people are searching for, that's how you make it an Amazon bestseller. In the book, I'm going to walk you through, um, the, it's going to be about 10 chapters and about 100 100 word, 100 pages. It'll be about 100 pages long, roughly. So it should be a pretty quick read. Um, and this is really the start of my new brand and my new direction with my business. And the way I'm doing this is, which is pretty cool, and, and we'll actually talk about this in another one of the books I'll actually have as a bonus in my book. Is the way I'm writing the book is kind of cool. You put the table of contents together. You put three bullet points per chapter in the table of contents. And then you, you create a PowerPoint presentation for each chapter of the book. You record the chapter of the book. And then you use a service to transcribe that audio into text. And then you take that text and you give it to an editor. The editor goes through and proofreads it and, and does a little bit of massaging of it. So it's all grammatically correct. And it's in your voice. And then, then we turn that content, as the, into those chapters, into uh, those, those text files into... The, the editor turns it, those, those text files into your book and you put the book cover on the book and you go to and use my system actually for for my instant author program to be able to go through and make it an Amazon bestseller. Done. I'm going to be writing two books per year. Uh, one book that's going to be business related and another one that's going to be really, uh, the, uh, the second book I'll be writing will be more spiritually oriented and more around mindset and leadership and about just general life kind of stuff and sharing life stories and stuff that's happened to me. So it'll be more about inspiration and just building up, building my backstory so that you can better understand me and where I'm coming from. Um, that's pretty much it as far as uh, the update for today. So I will see you or talk to you tomorrow. You just have a kick-ass weekend. It's about 88 degrees here in Orlando. I hope that you're warm where you are. Um, I'm looking forward to having Lara come home on Tuesday. She's looking forward to having the, weather, the, the warm weather again. And uh, that's pretty cool. Talk to you guys later. Have a kick-ass weekend.